Hi, my name is Manish Gupta, and in this video, I'm going to talk about Vicuna, which is a chatbot kind of a model from LMSYS. Let's get started. So what is Vicuna and how is it trained? So Vicuna is a 13 billion model, and it is an open source chatbot trained by fine tuning Llama model on 70K user shared conversations, which have been collected from a website called as ShareGPT. ShareGPT.com is a website where users can freely share their ChatGPT conversations. Although there are sort of privacy concerns over using this data, but uh, anyway, we're going to use this data so as to uh, train this model. Uh, uh, fo folks from folks from LMS basically used it to train the Vicuna model. Um, this uh, training cost about $300 for the 13 billion model, and they have estimated like about $140 as training costs for a 7 billion model. Uh, Llama has two kind uh, has, has these 7 billion and 13 billion checkpoints, which Vicuna could easily leverage. So uh, this training was done using PyTorch FSDP, uh, fully sharded data parallel on eight A hundred uh, GPUs in one day. Um, well, this is being done using uh, by by large model systems organization, uh, which is the group of students and faculty from you know, Berkeley, uh, UCSD, and CMU. Uh, the code weights and demo are all publicly available. Um, compared, you know, here is a good comparison between Vicuna and Llama and Alpaca. So remember, where Llama is sort of uh, a parent for both Alpaca and Vicuna because that is how these two models have been, uh, uh, you know, the, both of these models, Alpaca and Vicuna, have been fine tuned on Llama. So, so Llama, of course, uses very large data for pre training and so on. So, publicly available 1 trillion tokens, but Alpaca and Vicuna uh, basically do very quick uh, uh, fine tuning using small data sets like about 52K and 70K samples. In case of Alpha, Alpaca, these samples were uh, uh, curated using self instruct uh, method from Text DaVinci 003. But in case of Vicuna, they were actually directly uh, copied from user shared conversations on sharegpd.com. Uh, the training code for Llama is not available, but for Alpaca and uh, Vicuna, it's publicly available. Um, uh, Llama was evaluated using academic benchmark data sets, but uh, Alpaca was evaluated by just authors. Um, uh, but Vicuna is evaluated in a nice way using, uh, using GPT-4 itself as a judge. Um, Llama had huge training costs, 82K GPU hours, but Alpaca basically had just $600 and Vicuna has even lesser just $140 when you compare for 7 billion or $300 when you talk about 13 billion checkpoint. Right. Now, this is the uh, short methodology description. So essentially, you take data from sharegpd.com. You essentially train fine tune instruction fine tune on Llama uh, using uh, uh, using this uh, SkyPilot uh, um, uh, Sky Pilot website. Uh, I'll talk a little bit more about that later. And then you serve using distributed serving techniques with fast chat uh, and evaluate using GPT-4. That's what they have done practically. Right? So sharedgpt.com, you can't take the conversation state off as it is because there are there is some noise. So therefore, they do some pre-processing, convert HTML to markdown, remove inappropriate or low quality samples, divide long ones, long conversations into smaller chunks, which fits into the max context length. So. Now talking about training differences between Alpaca and Vicuna. Well, uh, uh, Alpaca was focused on just one ton conversations, while Vicuna focuses on multi ton conversations. They also compute the loss only on chatbots output. Uh, from a memory optimization perspective, Al uh, Vicuna actually increased the max context length from 512 to 2048. So this 4x uh, uh, increase in context length basically also causes huge memory requirements, which they handle using gradient checkpointing and flash attention. Uh, the cost, so essentially, uh, of course, the uh, Vicuna is essentially doing 40x larger data set than 4x sequence length compared to Alpaca. So as to keep costs in control, they actually use SkyPilot, which is a website you know, using which you can actually try to find the cheapest GPUs available across several cloud providers, including uh, uh, Azure, GCP, AWS, and so on. Uh, and what they took is our managed spot instances that ensure uh, auto recovery for preemptions and auto zone switch as well. So that is how they kept the overall costs in control. So how does Vicuna perform? So the evaluation was done by, by the authors on 80 diverse questions. These 80 diverse questions belong to eight different question categories, such as for me problems, role play scenarios, and coding or math tasks. Uh, they have been generated. Uh, these questions actually have been generated uh, by careful prompt engineering done using, uh, uh, you know, on, on GPT-4 itself. So GPT-4 generates questions. Uh, you take those questions, fire to all of these different models that you see here. 
and then ask GPT-4 to judge the model outputs on various parameters like helpfulness, relevance, accuracy, and detail on a scale of 10. Now, what is found is as follows. Uh, so you observe, uh, you know, ChatGPT of course performs 100%. Bard also performs really well. Vikuna performs not so bad, right? So it is almost comparable to Bard and ChatGPT. In fact, uh, their details basically show that uh, Vikuna 13 billion essentially achieves 90% quality of ChatGPT and Bard. Um, now, compared to these other models, Llama and Alpaca. Uh, Vikuna actually outperforms them in 90% in more than 90% of the cases. Uh, so here is uh, essentially a more drilled down summary of those 80 examples. So among 80 examples, if you compare uh, Lama with Vikuna, you observe that Vikuna wins 77 uh, times. Uh, similarly, Lama, uh, you know, Alpaca with Vikuna, it wins 76 times. Uh, yes, when you compare with stronger models like Bard and ChatGPT, you find that Vikuna does not work so many times, but still, if you compare with ChatGPT, you know, it wins or ties with the ChatGPT uh, about 45% of the times. Okay. Um, now, um, since the, the, each question is is, is uh, sort of, uh, uh, you know, uh, judged on a scale of 10 by GPT-4, uh, and there are 80 questions, max score that any model can get across all questions is 800. So, you know, this is more like GRE scores, right? But anyway, so you know, these are, here are some scores. So th there's this baseline score, uh, essentially meaning if you compare Lama with Vikuna, this is Lama score and this is Vikuna score. So what you observe is that, yes, uh, you know, um, uh, uh, Vikuna does not score so bad when you compare with Bard and Chat GPT, and of course outperforms Lama and Alpaca by large margins. Okay. So, so this is not a very rigorous, uh, rigorous, uh, uh, you know, evaluation. However, this is a reasonably good enough evaluation to talk about how Vikuna performs compared to these other models. Uh, here is a qualitative, uh, uh, you know, example to compare Alpaca and Vikuna. So uh, they put up a question uh, to both Alpaca and Vikuna, compose an engaging travel blog post about a recent trip to Hawaii, highlighting cultural experiences and must-see attractions. Now you notice that Alpaca sort of generates a very short one paragraphish blog. This is the full response from Alpaca, and Vikuna, uh, you know, generates uh, multiple paragraphs, multiple paragraphs. In fact, when you ask GPT-4 for evaluation, GPT-4 gave Alpaca seven on ten and Vikuna ten on ten, and the reasoning that it provided is as follows. Alpaca provided a brief overview of the travel blog post, but did not actually compose a blog post as requested, resulting in a lower score. While Vikuna actually, on the other hand, composed a detailed and engaging travel blog post about a recent trip to Hawaii, highlighting cultural experiences, must-see attractions, uh, which fully address the user's request, and therefore got a high score. Okay, so that's the uh, that's it. Uh, um, you know, let me quickly summarize. So Vikuna 13 billion is an open source chatbot trained by fine-tuning Llama on 70k user-shared conversations collected from chat sharedgpt.com. Uh, it involved a cost of $300 and was trained using PyTorch FSDP on eight 800 GPUs in one day. Uh, it has a maximum, it has a large maximum sequence length of 2048. And the nice part is it that is that it achieves nine, more than 90% quality of ChatGPT and BARD while outperforming other models like Llama and Alpaca in more than 90% of the cases. That's it. Hope you liked the video. Thank you for watching. Connect with me on my LinkedIn or look at my research on my homepage. Thank you.